welcome to homeschool happy hour and my car again today we're going to talk about grades grade levels what are they why do we keep them or should we keep them or what's the big deal about it anyway hello everyone if you are new here my name is melody i am the mom of four and our blended family of six this coming school year will be our 10th year of homeschooling which kind of blows my mind a little bit because it just seems like a lot of years and it doesn't seem like it's been that long but here we are we are getting into the high school years for my older homeschooler and i am finding that grades or grade levels are becoming a little bit more of a discussion topic so i wanted to talk with you guys real quick about why that is what that is what do grades look like as homeschoolers now of course this really depends on your home your family the type of homeschool structure that you want in your house these are not firm definitions you can look at grades however you want to look at grades or ignore them or embrace them or whatever works for you i'm just going to talk about what i have observed through the years and where i'm at with that when the girls were very little I wasn't sure if we were going to continue homeschooling all the way through for multiple reasons. I wanted to, but I wasn't sure if it was going to be possible. And so I focused a lot on making sure they were to grade level with their peers. Now, part of the reason we chose to homeschool in the very beginning was because my oldest homeschooler, she was reading when she was three. By the time she was five, and would have entered into kindergarten, she was well beyond what the first graders were doing in school. Now, of course, there are many reasons we chose to homeschool, but knowing how incredibly bored she would have been in the kindergarten classroom was one of those reasons. As a beginning homeschooler, she was already at a different grade level. And so when we did start to work with the school on and off with little things, I would just have her registered as a grade above what her age was. As she became junior high age, the reason why this became important is because in our state, we participate in sports. And so she had to register as a certain grade level for sports. So she plays sports with kids one year older than her. Fortunately, she's tall for her age, even though she's a year younger than her peers, nobody really notices because she's like right middle of the road, if not on the taller end in the group of kids she's with. I suspect that will change this coming year because this coming year she's registered as a freshman or ninth grader. After that, our grades were determined by where is she at academically. So once I started getting into the junior high, high school years, I started looking forward at, okay, college. What is a college looking for? What do we need to keep records of? And what will help her with that next step of her education, assuming that we homeschool all the way through. And so when I looked at what a college is looking for, and I looked at what are the high school students doing, because we do have two kiddos in our home that attended public school, attend or attended, depending on who we're talking about, public school. So I had a pretty good look at what the public schools were doing at the junior high, high school level. And I asked myself, what is the prisoner, she's my oldest homeschooler, what is the prisoner doing and how does that compare grade wise to what her peers are doing in school? We also did her testing at the end of the year because in Washington state, she's required to test at the end of every year. And her tests would tell us like what grade level roughly was she at? So with all of that information combined, we chose a grade level for her. Now, the reason that we are choosing that grade level again is one, sports. She's participating in sports. So she's still registered with the public schools, a ninth grader. However, as a homeschooler, we're doing her 10th grade year because last year we did her ninth grade work. So she has a freshman level worth of courses for her college transcript. When she gets to a the level of a junior or a senior, in our state, she has the option to do what's called running start, where she can go directly to 
her college courses. And so at this point, we're preparing her for the Running Start program so that she can get her AA for free, which would be fantastic. And she can get it while her peers are still doing their high school stuff. So it would be nice for her to not have to double dip, get that out of the way, have it done. Now for those reasons, we've chosen to do grade levels. Also, because we're homeschooling after divorce, everything is very official, people feel like grade levels are important, and so we keep track of that with my younger daughter as well, who is a seventh grader this year. All that being said, if I were homeschooling and I wasn't homeschooling after divorce and partnering with the schools was a non-issue, it wouldn't matter. I honestly don't think that grades, as far as first, second, third, freshman, sophomore, junior, it's not really relevant. It doesn't matter. If my kid is doing fifth grade math and seventh grade language arts and ninth grade science, what grade are they in? I, who cares? If they're participating in sports and athletics, you can do that based on same age peer group. It does get tricky if you're participating in public school sports, particularly in our state, because they have rules about how you can participate. And I'm grateful that we can, because not all states allow homeschoolers to participate in public school sports, which I think is lame because we all pay taxes, so we should be able to use the resources provided that our taxes pay for, but whatever. If I had to go back and do it all over again and I didn't have these outside influences, I probably wouldn't even worry about grades. We would just work through. You'll notice that a lot of homeschool curriculum comes in levels, which don't necessarily coincide with grades. So like Beast Academy, for example, they say, We've got level three, four, five, and it's for ages, whatever through whatever. It's, it's an age range. It's not grades three, four, and five. And so I think most homeschool curriculum choices do understand that grades are pretty arbitrary, really. I understand why they have grades in the public school system. Obviously, the public school system has some serious problems that it needs to work on but that's probably not gonna change. And you will always have people in the community asking you or your children, what grade are you in? What grade are you in? Which I hate that question because, I mean, at this point, I just answer whatever grade they're participating in sports with because when they participate in sports and it's a small town and people see them with that grade level, then if I tell them a different grade, then they get confused. But I know that my kiddos get confused when they are asked what grade they're in and it's really, I don't know, nobody likes having to go through this whole explanation of, well, I'm in this grade for this, but in that grade for that. So, well, let's average it out in the middle. And it's just silly. And if they're working on something that is under what their grade level for their age is, comparatively speaking to their public school peers, people judge that, which is really dumb because there are so many kids in the public school that range in where they're at skill level in any given subject. It's pretty normal for kids to have strengths and weaknesses. I would go so far as to say not only is it normal, but it's just true for everyone. Not Nobody that I know of is exactly the same in all subject areas all the time. This idea that they would be falling short if they were working on a different grade level than their age or that they're some kind of genius if they're working on a grade level that's beyond their age. That's just silly to me. As homeschoolers, this idea of being ahead or behind is silly to me. I know why they do it in the public school because you are working with a group and you can get ahead or behind the group that you're working with. But as individuals and as homeschoolers, as long as you're moving forward and you're making growth and you're learning, who cares? who cares what grade you're in? Who cares what level you're at on this, that, and the other thing? We're all different people. We work at different paces. We learn things differently. We have different strengths and different weaknesses. And I think we should celebrate that and not focus so much on grade level. That's my soapbox for grades. That is why we use them, but 
I also think they're arbitrary. And let me know in the comment box below, what are your thoughts on grade levels? Should they be used? Should we be keeping track of homeschoolers by grade for some reason that I'm missing here? Or should we just toss the whole grade level thing out for everyone, including the public school kids, and just teach them where they're at, regardless of what age or grade they're in? If you can't tell, I, I lean towards the latter, but that's just me. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for joining me and I will catch you next time.